let's get right off into this. So Kevin Durant left Golden State and joined the Brooklyn Nets after the Knicks refused to give him a max contract. The Knicks didn't want to take a chance due to his injury. A lot of people don't come back from that. So the same so Brooklyn stepped up to take a chance and they signed him. 160 something million deal for 40 for 4 years, for 4 years. Him and Kyrie Irving. Some people were surprised that Durant left like 50 million dollars on the table from Golden State to come play for the Brooklyn Nets. Like, why would he do that? Let me tell you why he did that. He did that because Kevin Durant is a coward. You see his actions and how he carry himself, how he whine and cry to the paparazzis, how he sit back and 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 try to act tough sometimes to the people who interview him. But the brothers he play ball with be punking him and disrespecting him. And he couldn't even confront Westbrook face to face. So he left. He bailed out. Then when he got far away from Westbrook as he could, then he started talking disrespectful to the man and said finally what he always been feeling once he got the Golden State. Weak. I'm not surprised that he left. When Draymond Green was checking him, cursing him out, you see how he just sat there and accepted that? Like, Draymond, right? Go, you be, you be, do something. Say, literally calling this man the B word on national TV. Millions of people watching all over the world. Stadium full of thousands. And he daring him to even say something. I, I dare you even say something. He's sitting down like a little kid while Draymond punishing him. I knew he was leaving. Let me tell you why. I mean, this is why he couldn't stay in Golden State. When Draymond did that, a choice got to be made. Either Draymond go or I go. You can't keep us both. Do you know why? Because I'm scared of him. What happens when a coward is scared of a bully and he's afraid of somebody? But he know that somebody he's scared of live on the next block. What do the coward do? He avoid the block. He go the long way. He avoid that block. I'm not going down there. What if he out there? Well, I'm not going... He avoided. Same thing with Kevin Durant. I'm scared of Draymond Green. I ain't staying here. I ain't staying here with him. And gave up $50 million to leave that man. He left the best situation to try another place that he don't even know work. He knew that system worked. But fear allowed him to leave. Allowed him to leave. So I'm not surprised. That's crazy. You got all that money like that. Even if I couldn't fight. Let me tell you. You know what you do know about the NBA? You can get away with it. He ain't even smart enough to know he could have got away with it. When Draymond was talking crazy him doing that, you know what all he had to do? Pop him. Pop him. And guess what? The refs and all the team would have came breaking it up. They could, he couldn't even got to him. And then about time he wanted to get to you, guess what? All my family and them here anyway. My brothers and them, everybody here anyway. So it really ain't going down. That's all he had to do. He didn't even do that. He let that man humiliate him, disrespect him in front of his whole family, the whole world. That man was daddy telling him, I dare you say something. He told Kevin Durant, 
You are a B and you know you is. Why would he say that? What did he see that made him think he can get away with that? He said, you are a B and you know you are. You a B and you know it. The B word. That's one of the most disrespectful things to say to a man and call a man. Kevin Durant character have always been in question. And it's okay if you're not built that way. Because it's obvious you're not built that way. So it's okay if you're not built that way, brother. And violence ain't always got to be the key to anything. But when a brother disrespect you like that, then as a man, you should have held your own and held your own. You have that right to do that. You have a right to do that. And that brother, that brother disrespected you horribly. To the point your own family, your brother went to Twitter speaking about it. Your mama then was mad about that situation. At what they were watching happen to their little boy. How you going to be a leader when you can't even stand up for yourself? How you expect for a whole team to rally behind you just because you know how to bounce a ball and put it in the basket. When being the leader represents strength. Have to, and look, being willing and, and willing to go to war, even at the possibility of facing defeat. At least you're willing. At least you're willing to go. And you will go. So I'm not surprised at what happened. Not surprised at all. It was to be expected. I knew he wasn't returning back to Golden State because I knew he is afraid of Draymond Green. He afraid of that boy. You're not finna stay. Look, all that money, you know you can leave. Let me tell you something. For $50 million, leaving $50 million, listen, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> He could, why you just didn't buy no protection? Why you just didn't, hey, holler at him. Send the men in black to holler at him. Look, you see Kevin Durant, don't say another word to him. You say one more thing then. See, he don't, look, look, Draymond know who not to play. See, he don't play DeMarc and Cousins and them like that. See, he didn't do Carmelo Anthony like that. See, he don't, he know, see, see what Tristan Thompson did to him. Tristan Thompson got up with him outside the court, banged on him. Like, who you talk, man, don't you ever try to front me off like I'm some lame. I don't know you, who you thought I was. So I'm not surprised. Not surprised at all. How you going to lead a team, Kevin Durant, if you can't even stand up for yourself? Your choices and things you do is very suspect. This is battle truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's you.